Alright, hi everybody. This is Jim Lee Elevators here on YouTube. And today, we're going to be doing an updated tour of my elevator collection display. It has been a while since I've done one of these. Since 2016, I believe. And I'm very excited. I finally got to do this right now. And before I get started, I would like to remind you guys that today is daylight savings time, which means to turn your clocks back one hour. This is just a friendly reminder. Since that's already said, we will now get started at the top shelf. That up there is a picture of me I sketched with paint when I was in 11th grade. Actually, no, when I was, uh, when I was in, uh, in middle school, I'm sorry, back in 2011, I mixed up. This right here is an Otis elevator hard hat. See, that's your vintage Otis logo from the 1920s. Now, moving down is a ThyssenKrupp elevator cone. Thanks to Randy from ThyssenKrupp. See, it says right there. With a safety goggle. See, there's your logo right there. I'm not sure if the camera will focus on it. That is my homecoming crown from high school. This right here is a Schindler elevator hat, thanks to my good friend Emma, who got this for my birthday. And this right here is a ThyssenKrupp elevator hat. This one is not from Randy. It's from it's from a it's from a ThyssenKrupp elevator technician from Las Vegas who I met at Fashion Show Mall. Big thanks to ThyssenKrupp Elevator Las Vegas for this hat. So now, moving to the first shelf. Which before I do, this right here is, it's a little focus, a gum wrapper sign that says, Dare, hit a button from, hit a button on a public elevator and go exploring. That right there is your Otis magnetic Magnetic piece that my dad made, which, speaking of that sign, this is what we're going to be doing. That's right, my elevator button's right here. This right here is my ThyssenKrupp elevator sticky note. Before I get to these buttons right here, this right here is from, this, this magazine is from a charity organization called Hope for Three. Yeah, um, <clears throat> sorry I put that put that on there because um, for personal reasons I don't want I don't really feel like showing my mom's face for personal reasons. And that right there is a picture of me when I was a baby. Now we're gonna start off with the elevator buttons. This is my Otis newer Lexan elevator call station I made back in 2014 using this using the foam and papers for the call station plate. Oh, look at this down button. See, look at this. It changes color. See, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. But this up call station doesn't. See? You have, you have to like mash it down in order to get to work. Anyways, now this right here is my Epco WS elevator call station. A brass call station from Andrew and Mike from Automatic Elevators. Well, Andrew Reams, AKA Diesel Ducey. Big thanks to him and uh, Mike from Automatic Elevators based in San Antonio. This is this is the, a button piece I just got for my birthday this year. Big thanks to him. And this right here came from Randy, which also got for my birthday as well. This is an Adams replacement. Otis touch button call station, which I believe this uh, I believe this is for the square touch replacement. Um, I unfortunately don't have one of these. I I would love one, but uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I've seen um, I've seen the original square touch buttons at the Knicks Hospital and the Tower Hotel. Now moving on is this Acme Floornicator that you see all over America, and a little part of it in Canada too, but mainly in the United States you see 
these Acme fluoridicators. They're very common on all modern elevators. This right here is an Asian elevator. Fire service cabinet switch. I don't know what brand is it from, but maybe YouTube user ID Lift 3000 or Indonesia Lift 3000 would probably know. See, there's a Chinese letter right there. I, I don't know if, if one of y'all, any of you could read Chinese, but just pause the video right there if you wanted to see it or read the signs. Now, moving on to the right is my Epco WS Halo Line steel call station. See, that right there is brass. That right there is steel. This is from Nicholas, YouTube user, Captain Elevator 42189. Big thanks to him for this. And that right there is an Asian elevator fluoridicator. That right there is a Schindler magnetic clip from Schindler Elevator Corporation. That right there is a ThyssenKrupp elevator hoistway access key switch. There is a Earth Fair button from uh, from my local high school. This right here is a Schindler elevator squishy van with a ThyssenKrupp elevator keychain hat on there. This right here is a MCE elevator mouse pad. This right here is a drop key that is based in Asia. I wonder what that says right there. Just see right there. And then you see it on the back where it's written Chinese. That right there is your caution safety switch sign. See, you just, you never stand in front while operating the switch. Always stand to the side because I think that is a, that is a, a severe electric cushion hazard where if you do it like a towards that towards that thing right there you could you could get hurt real easily this right here is a 1991 dover travel matic hall lantern from one shell plaza big thanks to randy for this this is a piece i also got for my birthday as well see this came from one shell plaza right there as you can see one and two shell plaza both had this lantern but the elevators there are now modded and usually usually like when you when you shake it it dings but unfortunately this this bell right here does not have the striker in it so so if you shake it like this it doesn't it wouldn't it wouldn't ding unlike um unlike the video that i saw from joe of air 3219 so if y'all want to hear the bell chime actually it goes like this i'm sorry but I, ha I have to be very very careful with this oh i just heard it ring y'all want to hear a bell chime here you go see you have to uh, i have to use something use a solid piece of metal like that to like tap it and that'll give like a clear um audio sample of that of the chime this right here is a button also from earth fair so focus it's a jellyfish right there sorry about the light glare there's your ThyssenKrupp elevator usb flash drive my camera's having a hard time focusing for some reason. A ThyssenKrupp elevator coffee coaster, which is from Randy. That one is also from Randy as well. Another, a full ThyssenKrupp elevator sticky note. And this right here is a Tower of Terror Hollywood Tower Hotel mechanical bell chime from Carolyn, my good friend Carolyn. Thank you so much. All right, now moving up is the Tower of Terror elevator pin equipped with a hoisting rope that you see on a real elevator right there. See that? See that? Um, that, that rope right there came from out of China. 
that I got. And this right here is that um, is the elevator pin right there. See, you just open the door like that. There it is inside there. We're going to close it up. This is what it looks on the outside. All right, now we're going to move on to the second shelf right here, which these are all the parts by Otis. Like, no matter if they're new or old. This is a mix of old and new. This right here is a ticket from Tianjin Radio TV Tower in Tianjin, China with the Otis Elevonic 401s from 1991. That right there are the machine room pieces. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know much of what it calls, but those are the those are the connections inside the machine room of an Otis hydraulic elevator. That right there is a metal piece from the elevator shaft, which is also by Otis. And moving to the right is my Otis luxury elevator call station from the Palace Tower at Caesar's Palace. Thank you so big thanks to Schindler Elevator for this piece right here. This is awesome. This is the old Otis micro touch buttons right there. See? This is an old Otis micro touch button, which I do have a newer one, which I'll show you soon. That right there is an elevator operator keychain, thanks to Carolyn's sister. Here's your caution sign right there. Just pause you want to read. This right here are the elevator safety pictures, samples to where the dangers could occur. See that right there is a person getting hit by the counterweight. This is a person of this this is a person tripping. This is a person hand getting caught by the ropes. You never touch the ropes because such as like that, for example. Never touch the ropes because your hands could get cut and these ropes could be used as knives as I heard from as I heard according to Patrick, also known as Streetcar 1664. All right, there are the jumper wires, and that's a person's hand. Kind of, kind of a bit of the same thing like that, almost, that figure, or that hand getting electrocuted by the wires. That is very dangerous. Never touch those at all. See, this right here is an Otis Lexan stop switch. I've seen that on, like, a lot of older Otis elevators from the 60s or 70s. The, the, most, the most known one I've seen are the, is that... Otis Lexan elevator at 135.15 Southwest Freeway that I showed my friend Alex with. Not Alex McFerrin. It was a, it's a different Alex. This right here is, that right there is a key switch also made by Otis. And this is an Otis elevator touch tube plate, which unfortunately I had to cover that one because the, the glass tube broke. For some reason, but thankfully this one still works. See, like you, you sense your, you sense heat to your finger. You tap right there, and and, it, and that lights up. Which, speaking of Otis touch buttons, I I actually have an Otis touch button myself, which I'm very glad I got. I finally got one. So you just you just place it right there. You press that button, and that lights up. This right here is an Adams replacement Otis touch button. From Allen at ThyssenKrupp Elevator. See, you see, you see how much uh, identical to an original touch button piece. Like, just compare with this and compare it with that. See that? See how much alike they are? Oop! Just I just bumped into something. See, this right here is. An Otis black button door close button. I'm sorry, I don't uh, I don't have the door open one unfortunately because I because it got lost somewhere. But this is what I'm about to tell you is the newer Otis micro touch button. This came from the Palace. I mean, not the Palace. This came from the Paris Las Vegas from Schindler Elevator. Big thanks to Schindler Elevator for this. As you see, um, as you recognize my video, I show I show this. See that right there is your old micro touch button. This is your newer one. You hear the clicks? Listen. You hear the clicks on this one, then it does on this one? 
This one doesn't have the micro switches, but this one, this one does. All right, let's finish it up. This right here is an Otis Gen 2 selector. See, just pause the video if you want to read. That right there is a room key for the Menger Hotel I stayed last fall. That was your, uh, that's your battle hall button right there. An Otis, a European Otis Gen 2 keychain from Carolyn. That right there is an Otis Series 2 or Series 4 Vander resistant call station. And this right here is an Otis elevator final limit switch. See these these parts right here are newer and these parts on this side are older. See that big see that big Otis sign right there? Only Otis, that's that's the brochure right there. I, I place it on there, and these are all the parts from Otis. Now, the bottom shelf. Really not much down on the bottom shelf except for a Walt Disney plastic bag with the with the Magic Kingdom castle, thanks to Carolyn. This right here is an Otis elevator replacement indicator from Randy. This is this was gotten for my birthday as well. Big thanks to him. Which I need I need to straighten that. It looks it doesn't look straightened like it was before. I just bumped into the bumped into the floor indicator right there. Well, I guess we'll just we'll just leave it like that. So this right here is a Caesar Otis position indicator, your your outside indicator that I've seen I've seen that um, at the at the Tianjin railway station. This is from China. And moving here, guess what this is? This right here is my very ever first elevator button I ever got. All the way back in 2009 on my birthday. Yes, um, this is a, to, to y'all, yeah, you may think, yeah, this is just a generic innovation button, but still, um, although yes, it is generic, just a plain basic innovation premiere button, but I had a lot of memories with this, so. It does not hurt to keep this thing. It's very, very sentimental to me, and I have had this for almost 10 years, which will be coming up next year. Now moving to the right is a ThyssenKrupp elevator. Vandal resistant call button. A halo Vandal resistant call button made by DMG, according to Andrew. If y'all are the, if y'all are interested in the Safety Ambassadors program, just, you, you can just Google up ThyssenKrupp Elevator Safety Ambassador and that'll give you the directions of their addresses and what, and, and if you want to write them a letter like how I did back in August of 2014. And that's how I got that because I wrote a letter to ThyssenKrupp listing the following address and, uh, and my name and my personal information as well. Now this right here is an MCE motherboard. This right here is the sign. See, I have that sign for a while. This right here is an elevator gear system. This is from China. That right there is a picture of me and Carolyn. This right here is a ThyssenKrupp elevator safety sticky note, an out of order sticky note, which which just came from Las Vegas. That right there is an I'm celebrating button from Disney. That right there is a Skeeter sticker from the ballpark. And that right there is a baseball anniversary plaque. So now that I'm done with the whole shelves of elevator parts, we will now move on to this side right here. This is a big piece. And yeah, I used to have an Adams panel on this side, the, the control operating panel, but unfortunately I gave it away to Andrew because... I just got tired of it, and it's just basically uh, a mod, a slap on mod you see almost on every elevator, which a lot of you guys hate Adams. But speaking of Adams, this 
is an Adams replacement Otis elevator button. This came from One Shell Plaza along with that lantern right here. You see, look at this. This lantern and this call station both came from the same two buildings. This is from One Shell Plaza. The one, the one uh, at Two Shell Plaza had the calls, had the call, had the call buttons like on this side. But this one is just in the middle, like all usual elevator buttons. But this lantern right here was seen in both buildings, one and Two Shell Plaza, on the Dover Trafalmatic Four elevators before they were modded. This right here is a pit switch from. The Schindler elevator technician I met at the at Greatwood, out of respect, he does not want his name to be said, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to comply what he said. But this right here is a pit switch right here. And that right there is a hook for the counterweight that I got. And this right here is the danger sign, gain control before entering the pit. That's why I have this pit switch. See right here? Matches is up pretty well. All right, we're going to place this lantern back. I'm going to be very careful because this thing's very heavy and I don't want to break it. Love that. Up there, that is my CJ Anderson homemade lantern that was done by Nicholas also known as Captain Elevator 4219 with the sign to your right that says gain control before you step, step onto the car top. As, as you see, I, I, placed that, I placed that sign on top of the door frame so just it looks like you're on top of an elevator car, which is really not. And then that sign down on the base right there to look like it's into the pit. Just like what you see in an elevator shaft. So yeah, that is basically what I concluded so far. Before I close out of the video, Let's get one last view. This is what it looks like. I just ref I just finished refurbishing them last week. Don't forget this sign right here that my friends from Clemens made for my birthday. Big thanks to my friends Savannah and Jackie for this. I love it a lot. Now, concluding the video is a Schindler hard hat that came with that pit switch from the same Schindler guys I met almost one or two years ago, complete with a Schindler elevator coffee cup from the company itself based in New Jersey. <coughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I made this so long because I because I have to get every piece that I could. Here's one last video of this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and hope you guys have a great fall. That'll be it. Thanks for watching. Bye now.